hardcore servers are upon us as blizzard stated in a recent blue post that there is going to be about 8 to 12 weeks until the official release with that being said today we're going to take a look at seven ways to stay alive in classic hardcore it takes a lot of time to level a character from 1 to 60 usually about 7 to 10 days play depending on how fast you are or if you're using a leveling guide or not with that being said, you don't want to lose your character to a stupid mistake. Today we're going to look at 7 ways you can lose a character in Classic World of Warcraft. One way you can lose your character is the Blood of Heroes, a lootable object that can be found on the ground in Western Plaguelands and Eastern Plaguelands. Now you might already know about it, but this happens more often than you know. Even if you don't pick it yourself, it's been reported that people grief other people by just looting the blood and faint death or looting and um, vanishing so the mobs that spawn from this uh, blood would aggro you and kill you so if you see a blood of hero try to go around it griefers will always be present around the classic hardcore especially now that we have it official and if you plan to loot them yourself make sure you know that those mobs apply a slow debuff that is for a one minute on you might be wise to bring a friend but uh, we can kill the muculent. Muculent ooze. Mm, this ooze I killed yesterday was so muculent. Second way to avoid a certain death in hardcore is to be aware of the elite mobs. Now every zone has an elite mob or a pack of elite mobs that are usually stronger or higher regarding to the level of that zone. For example, Duskwood has um, Stitches, which is a level 35 elite. Um, Lokmodan has a, a pack of Horde Emissaries. Barons has a pack of Alliance Emissaries which are elites and in a group and they will kill you. Uh, Angoro has Devil Source and uh, so on. Being aware will keep you alive. There's so many people that died for example to Devil Source. People that didn't make it to tell the story. Now one thing to ensure that this won't happen is to play with the max zoom out. Not always like try to get immersed into the game by going close towards your character. Uh, an add-on like Leatrix Plus will have an option in the settings that will allow you to zoom the maximum distance. And specifically in a zone like this, uh, it's perfect to have it because you never know when they spawn on top of you or next to you. So you might want to be able to see them and ensure that you're not dying to one of those stupid mistakes. Let's move on to another point. The third way to lose it in hardcore is the pawn capture screen quest in the Angoro Hives. Now a lot of guides will tell you to do this quest but I would recommend to skip it no matter the class you're playing and no matter the level you are. The, the quest involves three waves of mobs and on top of that you're going to an underground cave with no escape. There have been so many people dying on this quest and uh, no matter how confident you are things can still go wrong and no worth risking it to any point. You see, you might be able to kill each wave of three mobs individually. The problem is that the, as soon as you kill the last mob, the wave respawns and you don't really have time to drink and to gather your strengths back to be, a, to be ready for another fight. On the screen right now, you can see Ragnarok, a level 58 powerful warrior with a blue sword that he found from a rare in Eastern Plaguelands, trying to solve this quest with a lot of skill and mastery. However, unfortunately, it will be the last quest that he tries to solo. Another quest that might ruin your weekend, it's off Forgotten Memories in Eastern Plaguelands where you have to go behind the crypt and slay Mercutio. This quest is part of the Indream's uh, quest line, which will give a great beast neck at the end or a healing ring. And you might be very tempted to do it at level 55, 56, 57 or 58, it doesn't matter. A lot of people died on this quest, including me, I lost a level 57 warrior trying to juggle uh, around fences with this quest. Now, if you go on official hardcore servers and you try to do it, I would recommend uh, finding a friend or waiting to level 60 to do it as well. As soon as you click on the grave, uh, Mercutio will spawn with another three gravekeeper, so fighting four mobs at the same time with the potential of aggroing other mobs is going to be quite difficult. Now there's a way to cheese it. There's a way to do this quest with uh, throne weapons or jumping between the fences if you're uh, a mage or stuff like that. 
Uh, however, I would recommend training a bit to jump uh, before you do the quest because that's what I did. And uh, I got stuck into the fence and I couldn't jump back. Uh, it's it's good to know that some characters uh, like gnomes or uh, human females have their uh, body slimmer and they can make an easier jump between the fences. But with that being said, this is a quest that uh, can lead to your death in classic hardcore. Be careful when you do. That's it. We're done for today. What did we do, boys? We got greedy. What the hell we did there? Oh my god. One weird way to lose a character, it's falling from a griffon. I know. I hope Blizzard will fix this until the official hardcore release. But we don't know exactly what's causing it. It seems to be that whenever uh, you leave a town, if the layer is too crowded, due to a swap of layer, you might be going to a new layer where uh, there's no griffon on the new layer and you would just fall from the griffon to your death. It happened a lot. It even happened to me once, but I survived with 11 HP. Now, there are a couple of ways to try to combat this and I hope Blizzard can do something so you wouldn't lose hardcore character to a stupid mistake like this. Uh, to a glitch in the system and uh, since the deaths are probably not going to be appealable on official server you must always be prepared one thing that you can carry with you an alliance item it's called the light of a loon so whenever you log back in on a disconnect on a grief one if you're currently not on a grief one you want to use it and then uh, whenever you will hit the ground you will be able to survive if you're a class like a mage you can ice block once you're almost to hit the ground if you're a paladin you can bubble if you're like a mage, you can also slow fall or a priest and stuff like that. However, you can uh, use Noggin Fog and Elixirs for the slow buff before you get an amount. Maybe it's a bit too try hard, but uh, it only takes one death to lose your entire progress for a long period of time. I hope Blizzard will fix this and we won't have things like this on the official hardcore servers. Welcome back to the Plaguelands, a place with many dangers. One thing here that can ruin your weekend is the Temporal Parasite quest, which is part of uh, a chain that will unlock the Chrono Beacons from Chromie in Western Plagueland, so you can save the world buffs if um, you need them for a raid or so on. This quest can spawn multiple Temporal Parasites to the point where you cannot fight them anymore. You won't have enough uh, HP, mana, or pots to be able to finish them all. On top of that, you're quite unable to escape from them because they apply a 10 second uh, chain on you, a slow that uh, keeps you reduces the speed by 50%. So uh, having more mobs for on you, you can resist your uh, faint death, you can resist your vanish and so on. There were a lot of people that died on this quest. Make sure you bring a friend and don't die like a pleb on the Temporal Parasite quest. If anyone will ever ask you, in-game or whatever, to drink a concussion behind a graveyard in a location, don't do it. This happened to multiple hardcore characters. Uh, they did a quest uh, with Lincoln from Angoro all the way to Winterspring and through across the world to get the nice Lincoln boomerang. However, at one point in the game, Lincoln will ask you to drink a potion, a concussion behind a graveyard in Tanaris. I would recommend not to do it or most likely Blizzard might modify this quest. I hope it will because it renders it unable to finish the chain, a chain that brings uh, quite nice items to the game or just uh, a lot of pleasure from uh, completing this quest. Hopefully this can be fixed until the official classic release. If not, don't be the one trying to see if it works. With that being said, thank you for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see something similar in the future. If you're interested in the guide that you see in the video and all of my videos is called Rested XP, there's a link in the description down below. The guide is free 1 to 20. And if you in the future decide to purchase one, make sure to use my link and my code Frostadamus for 5% off. The guide contains a lot of similar uh, tips and tricks along with many logout skips and clear paths that uh, make you avoid some of the dangerous caves and quests in Hardcore WoW. Thank you very much again. Until next time. Stay frosty. Bye-bye.